Hi, everyone. Welcome to my third short video tutorial. In the second video, we created three short objects from single cell RNA sequencing data for normal human lung tissue and saved those short objects as the RDS files. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to read short objects into R and how to merge short objects into one object. So first, we need to note both short and tidyverse libraries. So to read RDS files, we need to use the read RDS function. We tell R where we store the files. We know they are in the short video tutorial folder and the files name, AML1 RDS, 2 RDS, and 3 RDS. So, uh, Let's press the run to uh, read the files. So if you like, you can uh, give uh, the short project uh, a new name. For example, we can read uh, uh, AML1 RDS as normal repeat one. So let's try it. So yeah, you can see in the environment windows, we have a, a short object called normal repeat one. So this is just for a demonstration. So we can remove it with the RM function. Now you can see the normal repeat one has been removed. So before we merge them into one object, let's uh, check the cell numbers in each object. So we can run the name AM1, AM2, and 3. Down here, you can see uh, AM1 has 3,000 669 cells. AML2 has 4072 cells. And 3 has 4324 cells. So that's the cell number in each uh, repeat. So you can analyze uh, each repeat individually. But this is a, a, a very time-consuming task. So we are going to merge uh, three objects into one and uh, do uh, further analysis. So uh, to merge three objects, we use the merge function. So here is the code that we are going to merge three objects into one. And we name the merged object as merged AML. Inside the code, we have another R function called the list function. The list function tells you how many objects in your current working environment and also the order of your uh, objects. So we can run the NIST function down here you can see uh, R tells we have three objects and the order is AML1, 2 and 3. So uh, we can run the code to merge the objects. Uh, 
Okay, so you can see we have a new object called a merged AML uh, in the environment windows. So let's uh, um, have a look the merged object to just use the uh, name. Let's run. So you can see the merged object has 12,000 and 65 cells. So this is the total number cells of three repeat, which means that we merged them correctly. So let's use the view function again to look the merged object. So we can run. So yeah, we open it in a new display windows. So uh, you can see here in the merged object, throughout uh, attached the, the project name uh, to the buckles for each repeat. So this one is AML1, we can scroll down to see AML2 and AML3. So this is because the uh, same barcode were used in each repeat during uh, RNA sequencing. So attach the project name uh, to the barcode could distinguish cells from a uh, different repeat with the same barcodes. So now we can go back to save our um, merged object. We can press save. Then we can we save the uh, object as merged AML uh, into the folder throughout video tutorial. So let's go. Yeah, the folder have a look. You can see uh, at the moment the size is zero. So that means uh, throughout is saving. You can see yeah, the size change. So now we save the, the merged object. Okay, so uh, that's it for this vi video. So uh, in my next video, I'm going to show you the standard pre-processing working flow using the merged object. So um, please subscribe my channel if you like my video tutorials.